Hello everyone, hope you are well. Today's video is going to be a bit different because it's the videos that I've done are either beauty videos or the tag videos and I don't want my content to be all like that. So I want to mix it up a little bit. I want to involve some advice videos as well because yeah, I, I want to help people. I'm going to tell you a story basically. So this time last year, I was at a beauty college and I was all cut out to be um, a makeup artist slash beautician. I was really enjoying it. I made acquaintances but I didn't make like proper best friends or anything like that. And I like the fact that you only had to go in three days a week. <laughs> and um, for the ones that know me personally that have watched this video know that I suffer with, uh, know that I suffer with anxiety. I'm a bit apprehensive about saying this because like, because Zoe is like mainly popular, I don't want to send hate to Zoe or anything, but um, a lot of fans say that when others come out that they've got anxiety, some people say, oh, you're just copying Zoe to get my views. It's not, <laughs> because if I could live without anxiety, I would. Like, having anxiety, it's just, it's it sucks basically. The last few months, there was this argument, obviously I'm not gonna mention any names or anything, just in case they do watch it, but there was this argument between two girls at the college <laughs> I didn't think it would affect me, but it did affect, like, the atmosphere and thing. So, like, because the way it was, was you had one girl there with her friends and one girl there with her friends. I was friends with both of them. So I was feeling like I have to pick sides now, which, obviously, if you're in that situation, you don't. You can either, you know, try and stay in the middle, be friends with both of them, or you can just do one. I felt like Piggy in the middle because... There was, I think there was an incident as well and it just got a bit, a bit too much. During the time then, um, my nan, I think, was in hospital as well. So to, the combination of getting the bus to Manchester every day, the atmosphere at the college and then, you know, like, be walking on eggshells around them. Like, because you don't want to say something just to cause a fight with like cause an argument with them because you know so I was walking like the atmosphere there getting the bus there and um I have a fear of birds so walking in Manchester where there's birds at a heap time in the morning and um my nan being in hospital at the same time so obviously my reaction to it was crap I reacted in a bad way to the point where every the last week where I had college, I didn't go because I had, um, I, I got dressed and everything, got my bag, and then I went to stepping out the door, and then I, my dad, that's when my dad used to take me down, my dad took me down to his works, and then I just had a, a panic attack. And then it was Christmas, and now my college said use Christmas to kind of like, you know, get over it and stuff. Well, not get over it, but kind of like, chill out, relax, don't stress yourself. It was really nice of them. I don't hit like the staff or anything. The staff was amazing. The, like I think the college like itself, like the way that they teach is amazing. It's just, I think it was the wrong group for me. Like I didn't really gel with anyone either. But then when it came to going back to the college after Christmas, I got that panicky feeling again. And I didn't go. I said that I didn't want to do it because at the time we'd started doing the waxing one. Now, I didn't like the waxing. Like, I was, one, I was scared because we were doing intimate waxing as well, like bikini waxing and stuff. I was anxious because I was exposing my body. So I was anxious about that because all I could think of is they're going to think I'm fat, they're going to think I'm this, I'm going to, like, you know, I, it was quite scary for me. And then I had a meeting with them and stuff and then shortly after that, um, I went back in for one day and then that day was the worst day ever. So then I dropped out. I dropped out and 
I decided that instead of doing one way it's all of them, I'm going to do a course that's makeup in September. So then I did my research for it and stuff. And then out of the blue, I just decided, you know what? I don't want to be a makeup person. I thought, well, why not help someone that was like me, that was lost? I hate that phrase. That was that felt like they were nothing and they were worthless and they didn't understand what was going on with it at the time. They didn't know how to control it. They didn't they wanted someone to talk they want someone to talk to. So I thought, well why won't I be a learning mentor? Because what led me to the course that I'm on now, I'm on a yearly early years um education course. Um I'm quite happy that I dropped out actually because if I didn't have dropped out I would have still I would have been doing level three. Now, I won't be doing what I actually secretly wanted to do without no, that I didn't know that I wanted to do it. Um, so I thought I'd give my advice to you now if you feel like you're in that situation where you're like, I don't want to do this. Firstly, I think it's not too late to try and talk to someone, like whether you can change the course or anything. Like, um, I think some colleges allow you to say, oh, you want to do this, give you an option of like the stuff that you can do. But I think that if you really want to change your course then I think you should talk to your tutor, talk to someone that's like good at advice, um, your support, whatever support you can you can get basically. If you say when it's not like in the middle of December or anything and you're halfway through your course, if you decide you don't want to do this as your course, then I'm sure they'll um, change it for you. Now, my advice to Year 11s who are starting to apply to colleges or if you're deciding to go back to college, um, like, next year or something like that, I think you need to do research. You need to find out what you want, what interests you, what you would like to do and what you want to, like, build a career in. Now, I know that it's hard to find something that you want to do as a career. Trust me, I mean, this time last year, I had my mindset that I was going to be in the beauty industry, an aspiring makeup artist, and now I'm an aspiring um, childcare provider. Find your passion. You need to do something that you're passionate about because if you study something, that you're gonna get a job in and then to find that you don't like doing that job you're gonna like hate that job so much whereas if you do something that you're passionate about it won't feel like you're working at all because you're doing something that you know that you're happy to get up to every day when it comes to applications for college and stuff try and do them as early as you can because one of the main reasons why i went to that college was because I left it too blooming late because I applied for one that was a nails course realised that I didn't want to do that then last minute I decided right well, I'm going to apply to this one because my mind was a last minute decision because it was like August that I applied for it I applied in July and I got um, a, an interview in August Go to the opening evenings, learn stuff about the course that you want to do and then compare them and apply to as many as you can so then you can like, um, you can apply to, so, like, I'm going to say, use the colleges as letter but you've got A, B, C, D, right, apply to all of them, compare which ones you think, compare them and then choose the one that you think is best for you what you get the most benefit what's most beneficial for you don't dawdle don't go oh i'll do it tomorrow do it get it out the way so then you're not doing a me when it's july and going crap what am i going to do with my life now i'm not applied to a college what i'm going to do when i've left school believe in yourself believe that you can do it do what feels right if you know that staying on that course you'll hate it you'll like if you're in the situation where i was where i was having panic attacks every time i got up i was breaking down i didn't want to go i didn't want to get up i didn't want to do this then i think have a talk to the person that looking after you and um, tell them how you feel or even someone at a college itself like um I think some colleges have like support workers or something like that. Talk to someone, talk, get advice and 
you know, because your well-being, your mental state, your emotional state, your physical state comes way before than completing a course. If you're unhappy, if you're getting exhausted by just getting up, you're not looking forward to when you have college days, you're not... You, you're miserable every day because you're doing something that you don't want to do um, then you need to change it because the eyesight was I could either stay on this course become unhappy and become go into that you know the dark place again where I shut everyone out it was either choosing that option or saying you know what I'm going to drop out and I'm going to do a course in September, put you first, right? Don't give a toss about anyone else. Luckily, I had the support of my mum and dad. I know not everyone's not the same as that because I've spoken to some, some people that wanted to drop out, but they haven't because of their parents. I'm gonna go now, so I think that's all. I apologise for the shaking of the table and my cat's just decided to, you know, go on my little stand. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, diddles. Um, Thanks for watching, hope you found something out of it and remember your happiness, your mental being, your, your well-being overall comes before anything else. Um, if you're really unhappy, try and get rid of the negative stuff that's in, in your life. So if you've got a negative person, like a friend, try and get rid of them. Obviously it's not that easy all the time, but just try and, you know. Because you're in charge of your life. You've come. Please let me know if you want me to do any more advice videos. Like comment like, you know, what you want me to do. Whether that's to do with general advice or like mental health videos. And I'll try and do it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, please subscribe if you want, if you like it. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. Toodles. Say bye bye. Fiddles. Bye bye. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that for Tiddles? I'm just filming a video. I was thinking I'm a right nutter, aren't you? I'm blinded. Eh. Why is my voice going so funny today? Tiddles. Hello. Tiddles, what are you trying to do? Ah, uh, don't climb on there. Tiddles! Oh my god. You shake it. Just have a look at this. <laughs> oh, why I yadda. What you like? Try and stay still.